I'm Shay Russell for mining.com.au and joining me today is the Managing Director of Eltani Resources, Donald Garner. Donald, how are you this morning? I'm good, thank you, Shane. How are you? Good, thank you. Uh, thrilled to have you on because we are talking about the surprisingly hot commodity for 2024 and that is antimony or antimony depending on which part of the earth's crust that you come from. Now listen Donald, uh, you have antimony's reward as part of your Herbert and project and I believe that you've just had some very exciting samples come back. Uh, tell me what are these numbers? Yeah we uh, did a reconnaissance mapping and sampling program couple of weeks ago uh, and we put the samples in for assay at ALS and Tanzel and we got the results back so we've got you know 19 samples average of 15 percent antimony and uh, a high of 46 and a half percent antimony but what's really exciting for us is we there's an area of antimony rod that was historically drilled in 2008 by kangaroo and we sampled and mapped outside this area and we, we, could, we see the high grade mineralization extending way beyond this area plus there's a sec there's a there's a secondary vein structure, vein two, and there's high grade uh, mineralization on this vein structure as well. So it, it look, it's looking good, but as, as always, the uh, the proof will be when the, the, we drill it, which is planned to happen end September, October. Oh, I'm so glad you talked about drilling because I'm very keen to see what the rigs actually pull up out of the ground. So, so, so are we. <laughs> so are you guys. Now, obviously, this is just a mapping program that you've completed. Tell me, what did this mapping program identify? We knew from the kangaroo metals drilling and there was high-grade antimony at the site, just in the area that kangaroo metals are drilled. So we went, we went along the, the vein structure they, they drilled. So we mapped the sample along the vein structure. That goes for about five, at least five, six hundred meters and dives under cover. So we've got high grade antimony all, all the way along that. Uh, kangaroo Metals also did a soil sampling where there's a, they picked out a secondary vein structure, a second vein structure. And we uh, again did mapping and sampling on that. And again, high grade antimony samples, uh, high grade stibnite mineralization on that vein structure as well. So, you know, it's looking good. It's it, it is, as good as we could imagine. Now, obviously, this is the early stage of discovery for Antimony at Antimony's Reward. Um, but since the company IPO, there's been a significant price rise for Antimony per tonne. Can you explain why that's happened? Yeah, look, Antimony is one of the commodities that I do know a wee bit about because I, I applied for Antimony Reward back in 2019 when it was Red River Resources and simultaneously at that time. I bought, well, we, Red River, we bought uh, Hillgrove, which is the Antony mine in New South Wales. It's currently owned by, now owned by Live Auto. Uh, so historically, Antimony, the main two uses for Antimony have been flame retardants and uh, Antimony, basically hardening lead, batteries and uh, ammunition. Over the past few years, a new usage of Antimony has, has, has come on the scene and uh, Antimony is used in clarifying uh, glass for photovoltaic cells. So it's this, you know, th this new growth of new usage of antimony, it's basically been growing 30% year on year. So you've had this new demand for antimony, and this has also coincided with the, the antimony supply from the major mines in China slowly coming off. So increasing demand, reduction in supply, the, the price is lifted. So when we bought uh, Hill, uh, Hillgrove, Back in 2019, Antimony is trading at 10, 12,000 US a ton. Uh, it's currently trading at 25,000 US a ton. And the Chinese export controls on Antimony kicked in yesterday. So we'll see if that has an, in, an impact on the price. But, you know, 25,000 US, 25, US a ton is, that's, yeah, that's pretty impressive. So we're, yeah, we're really happy with that. Now, obviously, it's early days of discovery at Antimony's reward, but let's, uh, you know, put a best case scenario out. If everything went right from here on in, how long would it take to bring something like Antimony's re reward into production? Oh, yeah, if everything went right, that's a very good question. Uh, two to three, I'd say realistically two to three years. Now, obviously, there's still a bit to go before uh, there's any possibility of this going into production. So what is the next step we're going to see happen at Antimony's Reward? Look, we're planning to drill uh, September, October. So come in, drill, uh, first pass drilling program. So that will give us better understanding on the, the grade and the continuity of the system. 
if we like what we see, and we believe we will, uh, follow up with another drilling program, and then we start to move through the sort of the define a resource reserve and and so on and so forth. And while we're doing that, we'd seek to upgrade the EPM to a mining lease. So we'd have all this, the study work to do for that. Uh, all right, Donald, it seems like it's uh, firing on all cylinders over there at the Herbert and Project. I can't wait to have you on next to see what comes out of the ground. Thank you so much for being here today. No worries. Thank you.